unplug the nozzle wires and fan wires. Remove the fan assembly from the X-axis extrusion. Remove the two screws from the X-axis extrusion. Loosen the X-axis belt tensioner. Detach the ends of the timing belt from the nozzle assembly. Remove the right side belt tensioner. Remove the entire nozzle assembly. Detach the nozzle assembly from the pulley back plate. Tighten the brass nut on the nozzle assembly. Use M36 screws to secure the new back plate to the nozzle assembly. Use M36 screws to secure the cable plate to the nozzle assembly. Trim a little from both sides of the fan shroud with a knife or file. If upgrading or have already upgraded the Z-axis linear rail, you can skip this step. Install the long beam onto the X-axis extrusion. Use M35 screws to secure the linear rail to the long beam. Reinstall the belt tensioner. Use 
Use M35 screws to mount the complete nozzle assembly onto the slider. Note the two screws may be difficult to tighten. The screw pack includes two M36 hex screws, and you can also use needle nose pliers or a wrench to tighten them. Secure both ends of the timing belt to the back plate. Use M435 screws to secure the fan assembly to the long beam. Reconnect the nozzle wires and fan wires. Adjust the timing belt to the proper tension.